Hey guys, it's Amanda. This is week 10. And look, not only am I doing it on time, but technically it's a day early. So instead of me not doing one at all for this week, surprise! <laughs> Aren't you proud of me? Um, thought I would quick do um, my week 10 video um, because I have kind of a crazy schedule this week coming up and I didn't want to miss it. I'm trying to be more punctual with with my videos so oh for starters let's talk about my husband because he's in the next room and I know he's listening um, <laughs> um, I've been making him weigh in every week with me on the Wii and um, he's not really trying to lose weight he's just he gets a lot of exercise in at work um, he does um, groundskeeping and maintenance for uh, an apartment complex. Um, well, the company owns several complexes, so he goes back and forth sometimes. Um, so he does a lot of up and down on the stairs because they got, I think there's three floors and there's like hundreds of buildings. And um, when he does different service requests and stuff for apartments, he goes up and down and up and down and back and forth to the office and everything. So right now his his attack plan is he's eating what um, I make him for dinner and then he's in charge of his own breakfast which he eats the same thing every day because it's quick and easy for him and it's um, it works for him because he has his protein and everything and he burns it off before noon so um, yeah, he, he makes himself a breakfast sandwich with um, an English muffin and he heats up, some, he makes scram, like a scrambled egg patty and then he has a slice of cheese and I'm, I've been buying him the low fat cheese. Um, and then he also does some sausage on there. And so it's, oh and I think he does a, a hash brown patty. Um, so he has that in his hand as he walks out the door and he can eat that in the car and you know kudos to him for eating breakfast in the morning because we used to not do breakfast you know our first meal used to be at lunchtime and then we'd eat humongously so um, I'm really proud of him in that aspect but um, like I said he's not really trying to lose weight he's just you know humoring me for the sake of me not getting pissy and he got on the scale and he he when he started when I made him do this in July it was the 14th and today is the 14th so in one month he's lost about five pounds which is good for somebody who's not even really trying so I thought that was awesome um, but um, altogether in like the last year and a half he's down 20 or no 23 and like I said that's really good for someone who's not even trying um, I think now that he sees his numbers dropping he might be a little more incentive you know a little more inclined to get with it so anyway um, my numbers um, I started the day of surgery at 354 made it up to 358 in the hospital because of IV fluids so we go by the 358 and um, like I said oh last week was week nine and I was I had made it under 300 pounds I was so excited I was 299.8 last Monday and today which is a day shy of week 10 I should say I have lost five and a half pounds and I am now 294.3 which brings my total weight loss to 63.7 in 10 weeks. So almost 64 pounds. And I'll probably weigh in tomorrow morning just because I'm starting to be a scale nut. And I'll, I'll probably want to see, you know, what the exact number is on the, on the exact day. But for now, for argument's sake, we're going to go with the 294.3. So yay! And I've noticed... I can see it in my face now that I'm losing it here and I'm losing it here so that's that's good but I'm gonna have to work on this you can't really see it until I pull on it so maybe 
you know, by the grace of God, it'll go away. So, um, I have videos to catch up on because I've been doing other stuff. So, I will try to do that instead of, that's why I'm making a video now, so that I can get caught up on other stuff during the week. Um, I try to watch videos on my cell phone on my lunch break because <laughs> I sit in my car. So, that's usually how I get caught up on stuff. Um, anyway, I'm going to close this for now. I'm going to um, keep you guys posted if like I wake up tomorrow and I miracul miraculously drop 10 pounds, but I think <laughs> it can happen. But still, um, I'm very happy to, to be where I'm at and um, I have looked into some rewards that I want to do. I'd like to get a new tattoo. I'd like to get myself some nice perfume. Okay, first the tattoo is going to be for when I drop 100 pounds. Then um, I promised myself if I made it under 300, I'd get myself this perfume that I've been wanting. And it's like 40 bucks. So I'm thinking I might, by the end of the month, splurge and go get it. And then my other thing I promised my husband is when I get down to 250, I'm getting on my bike. So we bought this bike. I don't know if I've talked about this yet. I, I can't remember the things I talk about on my videos. I have to start writing them down. Um, we bought this bike. Yes, I do remember. Um, it's got shocks in the handlebars, so when you sit on it and you grab the handlebars, if you're a heavy person, it automatically sinks down. Scared the crap out of me. I haven't ridden it since. It's been sitting in our in our shed. So I promised him once I hit 250 that I would get on that bad boy. So I think that's going to be coming up in the next month or two. So, um, and then I've set a new goal. I don't know if I remembered if I mentioned that either. Um, my new goal, because I've, I'm down 60 in the first two months with really without even trying. Um, I haven't been to the gym because of my hip. And I've, I've been talking to people and they've been telling me to go back to the chiropractor. So I think once I get our bills back on track, I'm still trying to play catch up from surgery. Um, I think I might look into going in and getting adjusted. Um, but anyway, I I do write down what I eat. I just don't really, and people are going to yell at me for this. I, I haven't been clocking, like, protein. Well, I do, I keep track of my protein, but I haven't clocked, like, calories and all that. My doctor said for the first um, five months, I don't need to do that. Um, but I'm starting to feel like he's little crazy and that yeah I do so I'm gonna start doing that but um without really working out like continuously and 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 all that it's I'm losing weight so now that I'm starting to really pay more attention to how I'm moving around what I'm doing what I'm eating what I'm drinking and right you know being where I probably should be um my goal is to lose 60 pounds by October 6th. So that's another two months to lose another um, 60 pounds. But then I realized this last week, if I lose another 60 pounds on top of what I've lost, that puts me over 120 pounds. So really, I only have 40 more pounds to go to hit 100 pounds. And then, so that gives me time to figure out which tattoo and I want and where I'm going to put it. Because I have two right now. I've got um, a pink rose with a yellow rosebud on my left ankle. And I've got shooting stars on the inside of my right ankle. And I want um, some sort of a weight loss surgery tattoo. I've seen a couple that I thought were really cute and I might steal the idea of. Um, I saw one that was a cupcake and it had staple lines in it and it had a tape measure wrapped around it. I thought that was really cute and I thought I could, you know, do some kind of a spin with, with that. 
Um, I definitely want to put my starting weight on there so, you know, I can look at it and go never again. Um, but then on my other wrist, I want, because I'm a Gemini, I want to do um, the Gemini zodiac sign with butterfly wings because I'm an air sign. Um, and then I thought about getting a different tattoo on my shoulder blade, but I'm keeping that quiet for now. Um, so yeah, those are my incentives. So, so that'll help get me going. Um, that's it. I'm going to close my video now. I'm going to go to bed because I'm brain dead and can't think of anything. I need to put this pen away before it drives somebody crazy. So you guys have a great weekend or enjoy the rest of your weekend, I should say. And um, I hope that you have a great fast speedy week. We are actually leaving for the weekend Thursday night. We're going to go camping for four days. We took off from work, so that should be interesting and fun because we're going to go spend time with some family. So anyway, um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.